All right, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of They Are Billions. Uh, you know, we're hyped this time, we're ready to go. We're gonna take down the Coast of Bones. We got Will here, he's literally like about to Pass out. explode from heat exhaustion because it's really freaking hot there. It's 85 degrees. Uh, some of you who live in countries that aren't the United States or Russia um, might experience much hotter days in your summer, whenever that is, especially you. In Australia, or hell, even in the southern United States. Oh, I thought you said even hell. Oh, I dropped my towel. Okay. Um, but to a northerner like we are, like Americans. Yeah. Um, oh. It is very, very hot. Okay. We have had the fan going. Uh, we dipped our head, and I dipped my arms as well okay. into ice water in order to keep ourselves cool. Um, we went on a walk before recording the previous episode. What's up? And by the time we got back, I couldn't breathe because I'm out of shape. And also it's hot. Both of those things combined did not make me happy. Um, Okay. Yeah, so the summers here are more temperate. The highest you'll usually see um, is is 85. Well, 85, like, is the more common one. Um, The highest you usually get for the summer is low 90s. Um, which to me is absolutely disgusting. I don't think there are many people who like that type of weather. Great. Uh, and we're using Fahrenheit here, so every time we say a number, please translate yeah. to Celsius. If you don't live in the United States, Myanmar, or... I thought Myanmar switched. No, Myanmar still uses Imperial. Uh, Liberia. If you're in one of those three countries, you know what we're talking about. Anyway, so more temperate summers, but much more severe winters. It commonly drops to the negatives in winter here. Which is nice. Oh, it is fantastic. Uh, it's, it's really nice because the air basically can't hold any moisture, so it's almost impossible for it to snow. So it's just it's just cold outside. So well, I love the snow, so the negative temperatures. Are not this last winter, but the previous one in 2017. The high most days was like, oh, you are experiencing one degree. And I was like, oh, fantastic, cool. You are going to pay me for this, right? Our soldiers are in trouble. Yeah, it's not resolved. Personally, I really like the cold. And, um, what is it? I think the worst experience I've had in the cold was I was walking home from school one day because uh, I'm going to dox my own location here for a second. I live very close to the local high school where I used to go. Um, we since graduated. Um, but one day I was walking home and for reasons I will not elaborate, uh, I had a night helmet on, made of actual metal, all from plastic, and I walked home <laughs> like that because I didn't feel like carrying it, so I put it on, and so I walked home without my glasses in a, on a main road without any sidewalks with this helmet in the freezing cold. So every breath condensated on the front of the helmet. And I didn't know what was going on because I kept feeling something like hit my hand or like the front of my shirt. And then I realized that like an actual like pool of water was just, it just kept draining out of my helmet onto my <laughs> hand and clothing. Oh, it was bad. Um, By the time I was almost there, some lady, very nice woman, uh, offered me a ride, but I was only uh, maybe 800 feet from my house. Building once again, convert it. This is an American program. We don't use no metric stuff here. Nah, in reality, most Americans actually prefer the metric system because it's in like multiples. Or oh, 10, obviously. <coughs> um, Celsius at face value makes more sense because zero is freezing for water and 100 is boiling. boiling. 
But it, it's literally just Kelvin, but it's based off of water. Yeah, I was about to say, Kelvin's the real way to go, you folks. Yeah, but like no one's going to say, oh, it's 2,000 Kelvin outside. It's like, yeah. 273 degrees Kelvin is zero. So if it was 2,000 Kelvin outside, it's going to be about, I don't know, like 1,737? I don't know. Very far, too much brain power. Celsius? It's a degree Celsius. So that's about 60 Fahrenheit. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, right. But no one, no one uses Kelvin when describing the temperature outside. Yeah. If you are, my brother do because we're cool. No, you're a nerd. I say that like I'm also not a nerd. Nah, you're a weeaboo. I'm not a weeaboo. Picks up the sword. What the hell? What a game! I, 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 I've already talked about how I have a katana that was really cheap. I, I don't have it for like you know glory Stefan Steel reasons, and I've actually said that exact line before. But what is it? Um, I just like swords, so I have a couple. I have two swords. I have a, a warhammer. I have a few knives. Attention. I'm not edgy, I'm cool to like weapons. You again. I hope you're not wasting my time. Um As you can tell this game's going much better. I'm playing it a little bit more cautiously. Right. Didn't kill off most of my archers, don't have a massive horde approaching from one side. Yeah. Roger that. Um Right, That's like I was saying, multiples is the yeah. metric system Wait. thing. But uh I feel like for a lot of Americans, the interval at which uh, Celsius changes by one degree is like too little, or maybe it's too much. I don't know what the correct term would be, because for an actual like temperature difference in the U.S. or the two countries that it's imperial, yes. um, you have to change the by at least about forty degrees. No, no, I feel like ten degrees would be a noticeable difference. <laughs> but with Celsius, it would only be like three. I don't know, my temperature clock goes zero, nice. Forty, you're getting a little bit warm, but it's it's temperate. Eighty, you're dying. Eighty is death. I hope you're not wasting my time. Um, I'm completely fine with anything that's below sixty. Uh, as long as it's not windy. Because the wind will kill it. Um other than that, if it's, like, mid-60s is nice, below that is okay. even better. Ab above that is, like, getting on the warmer side. 70 and above is when I become uncomfortable, and then, like, high 70s is, like, turning AC on. Which is fun, considering the current temperature. My glasses still aren't on, my butt is sweaty. I'm gonna get up. Oof. Alright, I'm gonna put my glasses. Jesus. Alright, so the plan right now in this game is we're going to expand over to the stone, get the soldier centers up, and then we're going to start clearing this map that's horribly infected. Like, this map is not very accessible up here to usual, to say the least. Um, so maybe there's a little more food incoming. I'm going to have to build a windmill. Get that air out of flowing. Okay, we've expanded to the stone. 
But I can't build a mine because I don't have the energy or the wood. Well, the wood's coming in and that energy's going up, so come on. something other than bacon pancakes. I didn't remember saying eggs. Make eggs. Attention. Building completed. I kind of want to get wood transportation. It's like the next research. Like, I'm not going to. I'm definitely going to be storage. But getting some station. wood faster than just having your own sauna is really tasty. Five. Um, what if you're going to curve up? Great. Please don't be angry ones. Anyway, so it said hordes. So I'm assuming it's going to work how it usually does. There's going to be a horde on day seven. This is the first one. And we're going to start having many hordes and all zombies on the map are slowly going to start walking towards the base. Uh, you know, typical stuff. What is she? Sh there was an invisible zombie. Attention, building complete. Yeah. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Are you sure? A new task. Straight to the heart. What's up? Any infected around? Towards this pile of stone. Let me put an arrow in his head. Okay. Oh, it's around some more houses while I'm waiting. 
Though it's not really smart to put in too many houses before we have soldiers, because that's how things go horribly wrong. Because the zombies, uh, the barbecue sauce, or something like that. We already have plenty of people. Yay, yeah. hey, veteran hunter unit. <sighs> Me sitting down is going to be a lot of sound in these videos. Besides your father, like, shooting a gun in our video of that one space building game. What? The spaceship game. Remember, uh, earlier when your father walked in, all we heard blood popping, and it was like, very shattered. That was bubble wrap. That was bubble wrap? Yeah. That was some powerful bubble wrap. <laughs> oh my god, you thought that was a gun or something? No, that was a joke. But, like, I didn't know what he was doing. He was bubble wrapping. He was bubble wrapping. I don't, I don't know. I didn't know bubble wrapping was a verb. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Two semi-built walls going on. It's all going well. We have a big it's be good. And we got more will. So you know what we're gonna do with this more wood? Cool, Will. Quiet. I really am the peanut gallery, aren't I? Because like you just talk about random shit. Yeah, and that's commentary for you. And like, if I'm not talking, it's so quiet. I'm probably going to sit here and talk about food for the next hour and a half. <laughs> Exclusively because, what is it? Most likely, I don't know if, you're gonna, I don't know if we're going to change it last minute. Um, after this episode, granted you actually win, um, we are going out and getting something for dinner. What do you want for dinner? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, you're really dropping the hard questions on me here. They're expecting quite a few zombies there. That's okay, it's better. You know what? How about everyone in the comments decides what we get for dinner? No. Yeah, because then we'll get there in like six years when someone finally replies. It's going to be the Polish dude saying good orange again. Attention. Like, shout out to whatever the hell your name was. It was something internet to internet. -y. Anyway, um, no, that's a serious question. Uh, uh, what is everyone's preferred like fast food chain? If you had to pick one. There are some people who act like they're better than you when they say, "Oh, I don't eat, a, I don't eat fast food." Well, I really try to avoid it. Oh, um, soldiers are in trouble. Try to avoid it. Sure. I mean, oh, Sonic, definitely, definitely Sonic. You see, you have an important skill too. I mean, I definitely don't go there all the time, but if I had to choose a place to go get fast food, it would be Sonic. Well, to be fair, there's no Sonic around here. There's one over yonder. Over yonder. Over yonder. Do not die. You have three health. Oh god, this is my veteran unit too. It's all going wrong. Good thing we have a wall. There, you, what you freaking what? <laughs> Let me put an arrow in this head. Um, Are you sure? Right, mm -hmm. like, I, like I was saying before, um, I uh, I don't act like I'm better than anyone because I don't eat like exclusively fast food. Um, but at the same time, I'm not afraid to say, like, on the occasion, I will go to, like, McDonald's. 
or something like that. It's been a while, but I do go there. I mean, I'll go to McDonald's every now and then, but the few things that I've liked in the past, they usually have for only like a year or two and then get rid of. So right now, I like their buttermilk crispy chicken tenders, but oh, guaranteed yeah. they're going to be gone in like a year. Because everything that I like there always dis- they, disappears. They were gone for a little bit, but they brought them back through the high demand. I heard your phone vibrate. No, I think that was actually just thing that did it. No, it was, or, or it, was a, it was like an actual vibration behind us. Oh. Uh-huh. phone is in front of us. I don't think so. Unless my ear is playing tricks on me. I don't see it behind us. There's just a couple empty plates in a wallet. Yay, we have two walls built. We are semi safe from the zombies. Again. I think it's your group chat big message. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Is that all? So boring. Okay. Hasn't gone horribly wrong yet. It's good. What are the close places around here? Because near my house, there's a couple things, but I don't know what the do. There's the pizza. Station. There's a Sonic, like, 45 minutes away if you wanted that. Uh, there's... It's over in the ghetto. Okay, you had me until you said ghetto. <laughs> like, that's the issue. <laughs> I well, I was hoping that would tell you where it was. You said 45 minutes away. That could be anywhere. <laughs> anywhere within 45 minutes. Also, what I ghetto? Like, yeah, never mind. You, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you, I'm going to have to actually like tell you the name. I'm not going to be one video. Yeah. I'm probably still not going to get it if you tell me. To be fair. It's not that much of a ghetto. It's more of a joke kind of ghetto. Shop, a whole bunch more houses, do some more fishing. Uh, the woodwork shop. Actually, I think the only thing in the woodwork shop right now is the farm and market, so maybe it's not that necessary. What do I need to do in this game? Clear out the map and have 600 My people? Alright, I'll need a cottage, probably. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Was it 600 gotcha. or 800? Uh, it wasn't super high. It wasn't a thousand. Yes. Uh, I can curve with that answer. I mean, let's get a stone mine down, get that juicy stone coming in. Tyler 1 is live. Ooh. Tyler 1 is yeah. a League of Legends streamer. He's known for uh, his angry outbursts. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. Um, I found his Instagram this morning, and his most recent post is him doing nine reps of 315 pounds. I was like, what the fuck? <clears throat> and then the next video, or not video, uh, picture, was him with like this really weird smile on, and his giant arms in like the tank top he was wearing. <laughs> he, lo- he looks like a gnome. <laughs> Oh, good. I have absolutely nothing against Tyler 1. Um, I don't know anything about League of Legends, but I, I'm pretty sure from what I've heard, he's a good player. <clears throat> but uh, I just find it funny. I think he knows he's a meme. He must by this point. And by that, I mean, like, I think he knows, like, any guy goes along with it. Because when you're a meme, you know it. <clears throat> What the 
heck was I about to do? I was doing like a look something up. So you got distracted. And then I got distracted by notifications on the tether one as well. I used to be following a ton of people on um, Twitch. But for various reasons, I unfollowed all of them. I, I was I'm talking like, you know, I'm an elitist and like my follow is worth more than like anyone else's. But like, for example, um, people like uh, Puppers and Noob Free, um, they're popular uh, Dead by Daylight streamers. Um, I still watch them every now and then, but Dead by Daylight, the, the, um, the end game collapse update with the hatch closing mechanic and, and Ghostface, oh my god. Because Go Ghostface wasn't in the same update as the end game collapse update, but um, they're, so, they're so terrible. So, like These recent updates are awful. Why? Do you not want hatches to close? Yes. Hatch uh, was an essential mechanic that's been in the game. Right um, but the devs have recently added uh, an ability that lets the shore close it. Um, which was already voted out by the community back in like November or something. Basically, last year, um, fourth quarter sometime, um, the devs took a shit on the game like the Raiders of Game of Thrones took a shit on Game of Thrones. Yeah, basically. The, in um, in like the pre-release update, like the like the preview server, um, they released the new killer, which at the time was the clown, uh, to anyone who's played Dead by Daylight. And they also had the mechanic where you can close the hatch. And the community hated it. They hated the patch so much, so the devs took it out. And then they brought it back with an update that sucked even more. My bow and arrows are ready. Um, what is it? <laughs> uh, the update's been out for a few months now. I think it's been out since April. Be no. Maybe. I don't know. Late. Late April, oh, early May. Yeah. It was right after Ash from Evil Dead came out as a playable character, and I loved playing him. Um, basically, uh, at the end of the game, um, once all the eggs and gates are powered, or both of them, I should say, um, first off, the hatch spawns, no matter what, and the killer can close it if it's open. Um, it, it only opens when um, the last person is alive. The last person who has escaped is either alive or they're just the last to get out. So the killer can close it, and when someone opens the exit gate, a timer starts. And I think it's three minutes on the timer. Um, and the timer slows to, like, I think half speed if a survivor is injured. It's either injured or down. And down is the same thing as being, like, on the hook with the sacrifice. But that's in-game mechanic. I'm not going to get into it. Um, right. So, basically, I don't know why they thought it was a good idea, but all the killer mains who beat their wives uh, were in the comments of their, like, trailer on YouTube, and they were like, oh, this will stop toxic altruism from the survivors. And I'm like, they're trying to help their friend escape the match. Like, how is that toxic? <clears throat> I don't get it. What happened to all my... Oh, I thought all my archers just died while I wasn't paying attention. I was like, well, that's... The Dead by Daylight community is absolute garbage. The killers do nothing but complain. What is going on here? Why is there an archer, like, way over yonder? Great. Well... Roger that. Let me put an arrow in his head. Uh, people are going to call me out if they even like listen or pay attention to this commentary sometime in the future. They're going to say, oh, you're a toxic survivor, man. Uh, no. Um, like, th this is going to be stuff Brendan is like going to have no clue on, but I never used Decisive Strike. I used self-care for a very limited amount of time. I'm trying to think of other survivor perks that killers claim are overpowered when they work, you know, one-tenth of the time with drawbacks. Um, yeah. What is it? Uh, gotcha. I played... When he came out, I played Ash, who... What is it? Some killers complain that some survivors have... 
uh, like pay to win clothing because it's dark and it helps you blend into the environment. I played Ash with the purple shirt, the bright Hawaiian purple shirt. I didn't blend into any environment except for like, you know, the DR. Anyway, and at the same time, yeah, I mainly played Survivor, but like I also did play Killer. In fact, I played Bubba. I played um, Leatherface. Not even because I like this mechanic. I just like I just like Bubba as a character in the movies. <coughs> It's a chainsaw massacre. What? Look at this. Sure. Okay. Anyone? Um, that's. I completely believe you that that's a real movie that people have watched and was good. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You've never heard of that movie? I absolutely have. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I did. What do you, what do you mean? Anyway. Um. Right, so I really cannot think of other survivor perks. Is that a house? I don't know. Oh, another one that people complain about is adrenaline. But adrenaline heals you for one health state when the gates are powered. So if you're down, you go to injured. What do you want now? And if you're injured, you go to health. Because you only have two health states. Or three technically, but um, point being, you go down to two hits, no matter what, no matter who you're playing. Um, the building completed. So, yeah. I can't think. See, like, there's just some mountain range up here. I'm just not seeing it. Oh, every killer complains about, oh, adrenaline is overpowered because it, you know, makes you have to hit them a the third time building. once. Um, and then it's useless Great. to take them a perk slot. Anyway. Um, but every single killer and their mother runs, uh, no one escapes death, which is, yeah, a hex perk. Oh, you could cleanse it, just clean all five totems, and Brendan still has no idea what I'm talking about. Um, but li no team ever cleanses all five totems, because no team ever runs the small game perk, which lets you know when there's a totem nearby. Because totems are small, they're not the objective, and the more time you give the killer, the less resources and, like, basically chance you have to escape. So no one cleanses totems. Um, and uh, it's not even like no way it is a totem that's on the map of it. It only appears at the end of the game once the gates are calling, and it gives you a one-shot. If you're going to complain about adrenaline, don't fuck everyone to know it. That's the abbreviation of no one escapes death. In the community, we call it. <coughs> I think of cleansed totems like, like all five of them, like on purpose, not just like over time we somehow got all of them. Twice, maybe. Attention. Building completed. All right, I'm gonna build some walls because walls are good. Something that I've learned. Demonetize. <laughs> Honestly. Probably. Then I struggle to find a way for these walls to work. Look at that one Tesla tower that's just like off the map now. Yep. Because I want to wall off this area and then I'm going to like. Um, more houses. Attention. Building. Actually, I think the only way that they can come on the map is a mini order right now, so I might. Need more food. Okay, go on with that. I like building food way more than I like building houses, so this all works out. This food tries to when, when food gets attacked by zombies, it doesn't try to kill them as much. It's only <laughs> one zombie, not like six. Alright, I have all the money. Please let me spend it. Oh yeah, we have the bike trap by the way. They're pretty good stuff. Uh, so I have all the money spring me to farm so I can get so we learn that food Aren't there other Wasn't there supposed to be a mountain range up here that was supposed to protect us? Instead it's just like the side of the map. Instead it's just like nothing. Field. Yeah, right. That's a big yes. map. 
I'm sure you'll find it eventually. There it is. Maybe? But that's still a massive opening! Yeah, it really is. Anyway, let's zoom in here a little bit. Let's get some more walls down. Okay, so that. 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 Yeah, the railroad and stuff is pretty cool, but sometimes it's just really hard to work with. Yeah, this person. Be, but be quick. I got to have like this really weird fucking patrol going on. You order? Can we go outside? Building Please don't complete. go outside. Yes. Alright, what are you guys doing? What? Just keep on okay. exploring like this random side of the map that you can barely see. Right between the eyes. Roger that. Oh. Next swarm on day 18. It tells me. It's day 12. Okay. Good. Roger that. Our defenses are being attacked. See, it's a good thing we built walls now, isn't it? <laughs> the horde has arrived. What? Okay. That's that area protected enough. Great, now we got the fence and, and layers going on. You know, if we can... I don't know how many hordes there's going to be. It might make me play all 60 days so I have to fight against all of the hordes, which is not going to be fun. Why? Are you sure? Well, one of the things is clear the map is not for you, so it probably goes until that ends. Well, and you also have to have the team. Yes. Wait, how do I access the objectives? Destroy all infected, resist all swarms of infected, so I'm going to have to stay for the final one. 800 population views. I feel like the ballista might have been good here, but I'm sure it'll be fine. They are trying to break into the buildings. 
Aha! Mini horn, see? You are gonna pay me for this, right? Our defenses are being attacked. Another mini horn. Our forces are in danger. Uh, I'm just gonna pour out of up here. What's going on? I hope you're not wasting. I just lost like half my army. Under attack. Many words coming from every direction. No, I'm not liking it. I need to clear out this map faster. Faster, I need more people. They are attacking the colony defenses. And more people. The walls are Aren't under attack. Are units to bother? Yeah, how bad is it? Building 
See if I could take out this guy. I got 14 archers. I'm not quite sure if that's going to be enough. We're going to find out though. What's up? You think 14 Anybody archers is going to be enough though? Yes. What's the worst that could happen? Famous last words. That's a little bit bigger. My bow and arrows are in the task. My bow and arrows are ready. You are going to pay me for this, right? Yes. Okay. 
buildings are being attacked. Someone makes this building with an arrow now. They're gonna ruin my day up here, aren't they? Gotcha. That's why I forget. That's why I get up for forgetting to build the wall that I talked about. They are attacking the village of that tower. Straight to the heart. My army of twenty. I got like two hours until the next tour. I don't even have the wall. My bow and arrows are ready. Attention. My bow and arrows are ready. Pretty much no matter where this horde comes from, I'm gonna have some issues. That's not good. I've been very, very quiet for a very, very long time, and it just now hit me, because I've been looking up local restaurants, which are literally all pizzerias. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Everything. Like, I really like pizza. I'm a fat guy. I like pizza. But recently, I've been craving chicken. I don't know why. I mean, they are, oh, well, there's chicken pizza. Approaching oh, who cares? It's not the same. I want a chicken sandwich. Um, anyway... Uh, I finally got half a brain to speak again because um, recently I've been playing a tiny bit more uh, Rainbow Six Siege. I don't know if anyone plays that game, it's pretty popular. Um, I got into it. We're gonna hit it this wall, Mr. Maybe a year ago I got into it, I think. Anyway. Um, you are gonna pay me for this. I stopped playing for some reason. I can't remember why though. Anyway. <clears throat> so many archers! <laughs> we can... What's one step? Is there a video now? Boys, we got some actual music playing because apparently the game only plays music when something's bad's about to happen. Wrong, yeah. Pretty much. Um, right, like I was saying before, I have no clue if my friends who play Siege are going to watch this, yes. probably not, because they're not playing. No, I, I shouldn't say they're not fans of RTSs. Quite a few of them are, but I don't know how invested they are playing there. Considering they're on the planet. But the point being, um, 
my two friends and I, you know, cousins, um, are uh, very big fans of um, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, one of them more than the other. But they both experienced uh, my biggest idiot moment the other day. I think it was yesterday. Um, it was so bad. Basically, it was a team kill followed by failure to secure a kill when someone down uh, and on the other team. I, I, I was so ashamed of my failure that I actually stopped playing for the day. And we'd only play that. We'd only been playing for like half an hour. <laughs> it was unfortunate. Um, I'm not really sad if they come in through here. Yep. Like behind me. That's another question I should ask because the fast food thing is kind of bland. Uh, no pun intended. Anyway, um, if you play Rainbow Six Siege, who do you prefer playing on offense or defense? Because personally, on offense, I like to play Thermite. I believe his unique gadget is very essential. The hard breach shoots very nice. It provides a lot of opening for the team, considering I am a blind maze mole and I cannot see anything or aim. Um, on defense, I have played quite a few characters. Um, starting off, I forget who I played. My first game ever I played the Chopper because I actually felt the mean and I thought he was good. And I actually got a couple kills, surprisingly enough, to my own surprise. Um, because what? I'm not kidding when I say I yes, suck at aiming. I am awful at aiming in that game. What? Um, okay. And. Gotcha. Um, for me, it isn't uncommon to get Great. zero kills in a game. Not that I die every single round, but like usually my teammates are the ones who do the killing um, while I'm there for support. <laughs> um, I don't remember who I played on defense initially, besides Tachanga. Um, support classes in video games, what did you go? Yeah. But after that, I played a lot of Rook. And Rook, once again, is a nice support character because he gives your teammates more armor. I really like playing Rook. Um, I find him to be a lot of fun. But recently, what? or I should say, okay. back, going back to offense, I didn't always play Thermite. For a very long time, I played Glass. Um, because I really, really like his ability. Um, and... Um, this is actually really surprising for me because he's the sniper and I don't play sniper in like any game ever. Um, but Glass is a lot of fun. And then they changed him with the most recent update. Uh, every Siege update names are really edgy one and they're all, they, they basically all sound the same no matter, no matter what words they pick. But the most recent update added Wart and Nook and I have, I have Warden, I barely played him, but point being, that's the update that um, changed Glass's gadget, and I don't like him anymore, I don't like every place. So I picked up Thermite again, and we're having a fun time. Um, except for that one game yesterday. But other than that, on defense, I play Rook, unless someone takes it, in that case I will go quite a number of characters actually. My friend plays... Legion and Echo. I don't like Echo. Um, I don't play him. Um, but I have Legion. I like how he plays. Um, granted, you can stay alive long enough to get the most use out of your goo mines. G U, not like goo in G world. Um, but I also bought Maestro recently. And. If you don't place his cameras correctly, he's bad. Um, but I like him. And... I'm trying to think of other characters that I've played. Oh, Mute. Mute's fun. But I don't play Mute on... Is that all? Bomb too often. Um, I never play... Hostage. At all. I play... Uh, the other two. Secure Area and Bomb. And I don't play Mute on Bomb because it's a much bigger area and the chance of them finding one of the objectives is exponentially higher. Um, 
bottle bottle. Um, Maestro's new book. I played Doc a couple times, but I prefer Ruck. They're very similar characters if anyone's played the game. <laughs> so many zombies are pouring out of there. You ripped my army of archers. You can get it. Okay, everybody fall back. I had 30, I now have 25. Let's see if I have oh, yeah. so I'm gonna fall back. 22. Lost 8. Um. It's like a full size board coming. I don't like that. I know I've lost four other characters I've played. I have yeah. physically like tried out quite a few characters for a game or two. Um yeah. Can I not get power? Why can't I get power? I can't have power. What am I doing? I don't know if I really have a dedicated name for defense, but for, for the offense, probably for my, for now anyway, I don't know if there's, um, like, others I really would play as much as him. Um, Hibana has a similar ability to Thermite, but I like Thermite to be a better. Um, okay. For defense, I have no idea. Maestro's fun. Um, that was a nice of fun. But I really am at a loss for, like, if I have a man or not. And I'm only saying that because, uh, for dedicated, like, mains that, like, uh, my friends will only play, like, one specific character. Um, one friend, I'm not gonna reveal any main, but... I, I I've mentioned Mark? No. Mark, Mark doesn't play. Um... I've mentioned a bunch of people's names before, but I'm not going to reveal, oh, this guy plays this. But one guy plays exclusively Jaeger on defense. He has two mains for offense. He plays buff and he plays back. And they're both, he's really good at everything. But as for, like, one guy, he only plays Jaeger on defense. And he's really good at it. Um, and the other guy, uh, he plays, the, the same guy who plays Echo and... Um, Legion, couldn't remember his name, uh, plays exclusively Montana on offense. And uh, honestly, like, I might be biased because he's my friend, but I haven't seen many Montanias, but he's definitely the best one I've seen. I don't play a lot of Siege, but he's very, very good at Montania. Um, and I do like playing with him a lot. So many zombies on my map. Like I don't even know what to do. They are attacking the And they keep on having mini hordes, like it's not just one or two, it's been like six. I'm not liking it. The train has arrived at the station. Oh, more hordes. I hope it's not An hour. Yeah, we should. Yeah, I think we should pause it soon. Nah, let's just go all the way through. Holy kind of like a stream. Like a stream. They are trying to break through. What do you do? Hey man, isn't there like the longest video on YouTube? It's like a million hours long. I think it's like 500 hours. It's literally nothing though. It's like a black screen for 500 hours. Oh, I thought it was like the Shrek movie, but every time someone says Shrek in... Or, yeah, the Shrek... It's the movie Shrek, but every time someone says Shrek, it plays the entire B movie. And every time someone says the word B in the B movie, they play the first Lord of the Rings. And in the first Lord of the Rings, every time the ring is seen, they have a quick clip to a, a CNN or something. And then it's just like... I don't know. I remember seeing a video. I don't know if any of the videos are real. It could be just like people a doctor, obviously, because the internet's amazing. Um, 
but I remember seeing one screenshot, I mean, like, what, like two years ago now, something like that. And it was um, the Nutshack theme, but every time the word Nutshack is said, it plays the entire Godfather trilogy. <laughs> oh, God. How many, how many do I have? Eight? That's not quite enough to have in my secondary or Building completed. So I gotta kill 90 billion zombies. It's gonna take a little while. Who you execute, or the Caesar? Wait, the Caesar in real life got executed by friends, and the Caesar in our game got executed by his like allies. No, Caesar executed the battle with his allies. No, in the game you lost, you accidentally tack moved on Caesar. Right, right, right. I forgot about that. That was really funny. <laughs> I got. Oh, I should have renamed that. The, uh, the prophecy has happened or something. At, at two Brutus. Right? Never ceases to amaze me because like I'm looking and like you built three tents. I look at my phone, I look up, and suddenly you have houses and like everything is working in electronics. Let me put an arrow Those in Those are words. Anyway, so this gotcha. group's gonna come that way, but this group is gonna oh, more continue orders. doing whatever they're okay. doing. How big is that? Is this a Tavern of Doom. Oh, that's a big boy one. I think I might actually be able to spawn chubbies. Tavern of Doom. Sounds interesting. Sounds like a secondary tavern. This better be good. You require more. Honestly, always. I've been working on, but I need a larger uh, storage capacity. Today. Store more wood that we can build more houses at a time. How much do houses hold? They hold as much as ten, so eight people. Yeah. Two. Oh my god. Oh, well. 
everything is fantastic. We're not going to worry about a name if a name comes out. Shit! God damn it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Shut the fuck up! You! You were the issue! Oh my god, he's at it again. You have to censor his name out, dude. You have to put the censor bleep over our representative saying his name. So people don't know where we live, so they can come and suck our toes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The amount of times he said it, people might realize how retarded he is and just guess it. Yeah. And also like the voice. What do you All want now? Pretty big. The are under attack. I don't want to get political in another video. <laughs> we were already political to an extent in one of the Bitblaster videos earlier. And like, not really. We were just discussing. We were we were talking about. We never how said we supported anyone or didn't support anyone. We just said that the fucking rape accusations are complete fucking bogus. Yeah. In our opinions. Now we might be wrong. And oh right, no, it's not a rape accusation. I keep on making that state. That the assault accusation, as she put it. I still think it's hilarious that she keeps calling it a fight. Anyway. This video is a time capsule because what was the Bit Blaster one that we took up with a rape right accusation against Trump? You know. No, never mind. I, I, I wasn't going to go further into that. I was going to start talking about the phone call that we just got, but I don't want to go further into it because I don't want to attract more attention to whoever, to, to the mysterious person who just called us. Good stuff. Because it's true. The walls are under attack. Oh. Okay, let's see how big our group is now. 38. Alright, do you think 38 is enough to take down this bad boy? If you know where they're coming from. They're gonna come from inside. Oh, the... The tavern's going Yeah, it's got to be. No, don't hit it yet! No, 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 no! Son of a bitch. The nice thing about the snipers and the soldiers is they'll never miss, unlike the rangers who if an enemy only has one health left and two arrows are shot at it, one of the arrows will just do nothing. Can we have like the half that's behind? Like just attack that guy and the other half that's all behind attack like that guy. Right? Right? Or everyone can just stop attacking. Alright, understood. Just create a whole long list of party members that we're gonna have to aim for one of sons of bitches. Okay, come on. Come on. Good, good. Okay. Now retreat ever so slightly. Rip. And then face him. Grenade move is really useful there. Oh, 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 I keep on forgetting I need to upgrade these houses. Why can't I upgrade more houses? I'm lacking food? Well, I can actually deal with that one. Anyway, so let's just place a couple more pestles down, you know, get the power out there. This power's good. I don't have enough resources. Build any more Teslas. Alright, cool. Okay. Alright, there shouldn't be money left on the map, so just go chase them down. Run them down, girls. This better be good. Cool. 
So what the chase function does is it will try to kill any zombies that are left on the map, along with also trying to explore all unexplored portions of the map. Which is good for many reasons. And I've been kind of dropping the ball on this map too. I've been wasting a lot of resources and stuff. Just not paying attention. <clears throat> like if it was a, one of the survivals, I would have been attention. trying Building to complete. a lot of it harder. Hello, random zombie. That's causing me to not be able to place a test with where I want. Can you could die. No, don't do that. Take a couple of 38 archers for the longest. First one piece tower. What are they doing? They're collecting. The colony is under attack. Let me put an arrow. This one's always gonna like kill me. This is gonna be the end of my entire civilization. Attention. Building completed. Attention. Building completed. What? There's one boy right there. Attention. Building completed. <laughs> Just see streams of archers moving across the map. Alright. Let's get one there. Come on down here. Come on the whole map tower. We're gonna do some hardcore expansion right now. Considering that I've cleared out pretty much every zombie on the map by day 27. Because we got five days to build the fences. Oh, what's happening up here? Someone's having an issue. Okay, they're okay. Good. Oh, great. There's no more zombies left on the map. No one left. Nowhere left to explore. Cool. What's up? Any infected around? Let's go find the entrances to the map. So I think this is one yeah. entrance. So let's defend against this mini horde. The train has arrived at the station. Come on. Come on, girls, get there. Attention. Building completed. Gotcha. Tesla Towers. I'm just pulling them up very randomly right now, but I'm gonna put them behind walls Order. and stuff and actually have them protecting their own little parts and stuff correctly eventually. We'll get there. I'm just trying to expand out my power for now. Get the whole map under wraps. Building 
Building completed. What's going on now? If it's going to make me play all 60 days, I think I will split off after this next horde. Because I don't need a six hour video or something ridiculous. Yeah, well, and also it said survive all 60 days, so... No, I said survive all hordes. I have 60 days to complete. Wait, did it say survive all 60 days? No, time to complete the mission in 60 days. Resist all swarms with infected. Okay. Like, I don't have the population yet either, so it's not like... Um, it's just making me sit here. I still have to do stuff. I'm gonna get more milk. Okay. I think I might finally be understanding that complaint about uh, the campaign not adding much to the game because I just I don't know. This feels attention building completed. Almost like some of the parts of the campaign are really good and really fun, but this is just like it's live. Lovely. There's no there's no like final horror that like I'm trying to build up and it's super large or something. I need to defend against it. It's just like you have to play all the days to, to feed all the hordes or something, and that might just not. I don't know. It's probably doubly boring for someone who's already played like the survival mode and everything for a long time, because everything is more limited. Yep. And, which uh, is kind of what I'm dealing with right now. Yeah. Um. Being expected to build up until a certain point, but then you pass what you already know. Completed. Like for every single mission. Like for example, I'm only at tier two building technology. Completed. I don't even have all that unlocked, and there's the stone tier, and then beyond the stone tier, there's the foundry and stuff like that. So it's just. Um, I definitely. I think I'm starting to understand the place. So I. I personally am going to keep on playing, I'm enjoying it, but it's like, I'm starting to see it. I'm starting to understand what they're talking about. Attention. Building completed. Testing the tower. That starts the power over there. Get a more power over here. Now I'm pretty sure they're only supposed to come from down here, so I might start investing in walls. Like down here, or on the opposite side right here. I don't think they're supposed to come up here, just because like it's supposed to be mountainous and like, I, I don't know. I don't know, I just don't think they're supposed to be coming from up here, so I'm just going to focus right now on building walls down here and hope for the best. I mean like, I will expand walls up there of course, but I'm going to focus. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. Shut 
again. No, no, we want to be back a little bit. Because then we can play spike traps, and spike traps do damage. Spike traps are good. Seven wood production every eight hours. My my, that's a lot of wood. Considering I can only hold seventy. I can give it time. Attention, building completed. All right. Still got more wood, so I guess I'll start focusing up there. Hold on, I need 800 people, right? Let's get that. Let's get that working out. Because maybe like once I have that 800 people and I do the other two conditions, and I defeat the next tour, it will finish. So if I can get 800 people in, okay, never mind. If I get 800 people in the next now, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's literally what went through my head. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, Attention. Building completed. I would like to build walls up here, please. Because walls are good for my health. Demonetized. <laughs> Wood, building even I have completed. 87 income of wood per like eight hours. Ah. Attention, building completed. Rubber. Come on, give me more wood. Give me more wood. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. More wood, please. I like more wood. Please stop saying that. The train has arrived at the station. Not your cup of tea? I feel like you're gonna call this, like your workers a good boy or something like that. What a good archer! Please what a good archer! I hope you're not wasting my time. Anyway, you so that's defenses built. I mean, it's not depleted these defenses, but they're built, which is what's important. Okay, let's do this. At least some capacity. Why? Okay. Probably get more income of. Well, actually, no. We don't need archers anymore. That's fake news. We need. Okay. Go. We need go. I need more girls. Yeah. Um. I'm also gonna finish up the wall here. That way I can like split this group in this half. Better be good. Half yes. Can come down here, another half can go up there. You again. I hope you're not wasting my time. This better be good. Gotcha. What do you want now? Okay. Anyway, I think that's walls built on every entrance of the map. So, we are good. Once we know where this horde is coming from, we'll uh, place a whole bunch more of, of, this, of uh, spike traps and then we'll break.
all of the archers to that one area, and we'll just go and arrow them to death. Minus the, like one soldier that we bring. Four hours. Let's go straight at ten o'clock at night. I don't know when we started. I was just throwing out a number. Because we're an hour and a half into the recording. So we started at six. And I was like, yeah, it's a half hour video, you know, and then we can leave and we'll get some dinner. And then <laughs> and, so and we picked the longest friggin' level in the entire game. Hey, you were the one who chose it. It's not yes, my fault. I was. And I will take full responsibility of being a complete idiot. all the walls that I wanted to do? I think so. Okay, that means I need more people. And I need more gold. All of infected are on their way. In the west. They are approaching the west the is way. this side. Right? I'm not being stupid. Hopefully. So we want to take all these from one. Gotcha. Got one on patrol. Coming from across the map. All the way. Um, and now that we have some gold, gold some defenses, which are going to be literally just. Defensive layer. So if the first one falls, we can retreat back here, but it's gonna suck having to rebuild an entire map for the test for coverage. Wait, coming from up here. Can't you just click repair? Yeah, but it's gonna take a while because it has to do one at a time with Tesla towers. Ah. Oop, we have more gold. You know what we're gonna do with more gold? Put more Tesla towers. <laughs> <laughs> You're, are you missing a wall there? No, it's a little uh, like hole in the ground. Oh, okay. Which you just can't go through. That would have been sad. I would have fallen even. Okay, where's the rest of my army? Yay! Army! Warning for duty. Commander? Oh, hello, you're more north than I thought. Die faster? 
Defenses, and we'll cut the video here. That way, we only can focus on lunch, dinner. Yeah. Did not expect this level to take so long, to be honest. Yeah, because we had all worked out. We were like, yeah, only one level today, and then we're going to take a break, probably for the night, and then we're going to play something else, probably. And then you know that one level turned into like you know, the eternal, the eternal level. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to rebuild all this stuff, and then we'll uh, get to ready it. and wait. Which I can't rebuild until that Tesla tower is done. Oh, well, maybe what we can do in the meantime. More Tesla towers. Well, you're doing that. I'm gonna walk my dog. No, I was using for milk. big complaints about this game that it was really dark, but my uh, old computer just had a really, really dark monitor. Presses F4 and nothing happens. Oh, my keyboard died. Oh, yeah. 